Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we're going to work on our back and trap muscles, basically the trapezium, the lats and the lower back. So we're going to start away with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side and finish off with a deep squat. If you are experiencing any kind of tightness in your upper back for any reason, I would recommend you to do a couple more dynamic stretches to ensure you unlock the mobility entirely. But I think the greatest stretch is more than sufficient to make sure we can get going. If required, you can just do this particular stretch itself for 10 more or just 10 repetitions and that should be fine to unlock your mobility. Now make sure you dedicate this couple of minutes every day for dynamic stretching before you start your workout other than any other warm-ups which you prefer to do like cardio. Now post completing my greatest stretch, I moved on to my deep squat wherein I pushed my glutes, felt the stretch in my hamstrings and then squatted down, stayed there for a few seconds making sure I feel the stretch. To start off with, my first exercise is seated row. I know this is a weird setup because at my gym there is no seated row equipment. So I'm using a small bench and a stepper plate to block myself from moving. Now do, re, while doing the regular seated rows, make sure you keep your elbows locked at 90 degrees as you can see how I'm performing it. And then completely bend forward and as you pull it back, pull it just enough as you get straight. Now I've done three sets of these 15 repetitions plus using the rest pause technique accumulated another 20 repetitions in 5-5-5 intervals. I've taken about 45 seconds rest in between. The important part is to keep your elbows locked so your bicep doesn't, doesn't get activated and your lats are completely stretched as you go down and pull yourself back up. Post completing the seated row I moved on to rack pull-ups. It's a very basic and easy setup you just need to be, sit down on the floor under a rack hold the rod with your arms and start pulling yourself up you can take support of a bench in front of you to place your legs so that you don't swing or lose balance do four sets of these as many repetitions as possible with 45 seconds rest in between post rack pull-ups i have done one arm rows now there are two ways to do one arm rows if you're comfortable and if your back is not stiff, you can do it standing like I'm doing. Otherwise, you can do it laying down and on an inclined bench, as you can see. Now, I have done three sets of these with 12 repetitions. Plus, I have dropped the weight two times each set. So I started off with, for example, a 15 kilo dumbbell, kept the 12 kilo and 12, uh, 10 kilo dumbbells beside me. As soon as I'm done with the 12 kilo Sorry, 15 kilo dumbbell for 12 repetitions. I moved on to the 12 kilo dumbbell, got as many repetitions as possible. After hitting failure there, immediately grabbed the 10 kilo dumbbell and got as many repetitions as possible. Done the same thing thrice. Choose if you want to do it standing or you want to do it on an inclined bench as per your preference. Post completing one arm rows, I immediately moved on to high elbow rows. High elbow rows are very simple. You just need to lay down on an inclined bench and row the dumbbells while keeping your elbows beside your shoulders, as you can see. Now I have done four sets of these, starting off with 10 repetitions, moving on to eight repetitions, eight repetitions again, and finishing off with six repetitions. As you can see, the elbows stay beside my shoulders and I flare them out as much as possible, hitting my mid trap reason. Post completing my high bar high elbow rows, I moved on to deadlifts. Now deadlifts, the thing is, it's going to get tough because we have to do two sets, 12 repetitions, and then drop the weight twice. Now, if you're someone who are unable to move a lot of weight on the deadlift and don't have the larger plates for smaller weights, don't do it. Instead, just do the bent over rows or bent over chest supported rows. I would suggest that better than doing a deadlift because if the weight is too low, it is not effective, you will be loading onto your lower back unnecessarily. But if you can perform the deadlifts, go ahead and do two sets of these wherein you start off with 12 repetitions and then you drop the weight twice and continue to get as many repetitions as possible as I'm doing here. Now the rest in between deadlift sets should be more than a minute because you will take a lot of time to recover 
from a compound movement such as this especially when you're performing it in a drop set manner so i was taking somewhere around 90 seconds to 120 seconds break in between the set even post completing the deadlift i have taken a good two minute break before i moved on to my next exercise so for my next exercise i am going to do the high elbow seated rows it is pretty simple seated row but this time instead of pulling the bar beside your hips or keeping the elbows down and under you keep your elbows flaring out bringing them beside your shoulders just like a face pull which we have done earlier again we are targeting our trap muscles here the upper and mid trapezium mostly i have done four sets of these 15 repetitions with every set having a two weight drops so basically after completing 15 repetitions i drop the weight twice and get as many repetitions as possible every time i drop the weight the exercise would be quite demanding so i would suggest to take at least 60 seconds break in between make sure you flare out your elbows as much as possible if you have a wider bar use that while doing this exercise i don't have a wider bar so i was using the bar which was as wide as possible post completing this particular exercise i moved on to simple pull-ups now since i'm still not able to do much of clean pull-ups i used a resistance band to provide me with some assistance in doing performing at least 10 pull-ups each set i have done three sets of these as many repetitions as possible while doing hanging shrugs also or you may call them as reverse shrugs so post completing my pull-ups i immediately let my leg off from the assistance and started doing shrugs in reverse again working on my upper back post completing the pull up and shrug combination i moved on to seated calf raises and this is the last exercise for us for today three sets 10 repetitions with a very slow tempo 10 seconds raising your heels up 10 seconds dropping your heels down now you have to ensure you go as slow as possible i know it's very difficult to keep track of time in terms of 10 seconds up 10 seconds down but go as slow as possible and that's it for today thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is very well appreciated and i would definitely respond to it finish off with calf races make sure you get as slow repetitions as possible and achieve all the 10 repetitions and three sets thank you so much for joining me again i will see you in the next video wherein we work our shoulders and biceps again have a good day and take care